Surprise! Surprise! Now for this, uh, this next surprise, we've booked a very special duo of stars. They are true legends, ladies and gentlemen, from the golden age of Hollywood, the incomparable Mae West and W.C. Fields. There you go. Now, obviously, these are not the real Mae West and W.C. Fields. It would be a miracle if it were. But beneath those disguises are two people who are just as familiar to you as members of your own family. This is what we call our surprise disguise, and I'd like to play a little game with you. I'll give you a couple of hints along the way, and you guess what two famous people are under all of that terrible... May oh, May, you look gorgeous here. Uh, <laughs> if you think you have the answer, would you get the little card out and write the name down? Please don't shout out the answer if you have it. There are no prizes. You're not going to win anything, but it's sort of a, a group game, all right? First of all, uh, May, may I go so far as to call you May? Yes, you may, but don't try to go any farther. Oh, yeah, now, May and W.C., you were stars of the uh, silver screen. Are you both famous for uh, being in movies? No, we came into your living rooms every week. Uh -huh. <laughs> every week. I would assume, then, that you were uh, stars of the little screen, television stars, undoubtedly, all right? Of course we were television stars. Yes, yes, and obviously funny people. Uh, Jim and Tammy Baker is wrong, my dear, no. Uh, 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 let me see, any other guesses here? Who said Willard Scott and Brian Gumbel? No. Get the wrong party. <laughs> I love parties. I'll go with you after I'm all washed up. Why bother? You've been washed up for years. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. The washed up couple. Now, there may be a hint. Now, W.C. and May had a love-hate relationship. What is your relationship? She was my mate. I could have had anyone, you know. After all, the sea is full of fish. Yeah, and I wound up with a minnow. <laughs> <laughs> That's another good clue. Now, let's show our at-home viewers, just for the moment, their identities. The home viewers only. Who wrote down Mr. and Mrs. Brady of the Brady Bunch? No, 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 no. You're, there's a, there's, you're working on it over here. You're getting there. I think you're going to be a winner here. Uh, let me see what else we have. Let me see, how, how do you feel about your partner? Well, she has everything that a man desires. Yeah. Whiskers. Muscles, sideburn. Put it this way, big boy. If you ever come up to see me sometime, are you gonna be surprised? <laughs> hey, let's end the suspense, please. Will you take off the makeup now and let us see what we have here? So obviously she is a he. We know you're both TV stars, and the words washed up and mate and minnow seem to be important. Let's see. I think you had it first. So what is this? That's from Gilligan's Island. That's right, Alan Hale and Bob Denver. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> don't, don't break a leg. <laughs> oh. Alan, does, does the reaction of that show amaze you to this day? Dick, I want to tell you it is fun. You know, because of the show, we're known all over the world. And I must say, people do really seem to love us, but we love them right back. You got it. <laughs> What's your explanation, Bob, of how, how that show has become such a classic? I really don't care, Dick. I just want to get this girdle off and kill it. <laughs> Alan Hale and Bob Denver, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen.